in 2025, Rheem will commit to achieving zero waste and zero landfill impact from all of our global manufacturing operations. We're here today with NG Impact doing a waste audit on the uh, Montgomery facility to generate a baseline that'll drive all the improvements that we're gonna make in achieving the goal of zero waste by 2025. This is our fifth waste audit this year. So we're in the Montgomery location today. We will get at least nine waste audits completed in 2019. And the waste audit really tells us what our waste streams are, what our current diversion rate is, where we have the opportunity to make improvements and really push us to that next step of what an implementation plan can be. We wanted to make sure that Ream was doing everything it possibly could for our community. We already have many programs here that allow us to ship waste steel products to recycler to be re-smelted and reused in other processes. We are also using steel dust as part of our process to send that to a recycler. In your normal environment, you're used to seeing recycling symbols and different colors that trigger what you should do with your waste products. It's a little bit different in a manufacturing plant because you've got so many different waste streams that we've had to identify what all of those waste streams are and create icons and color cues that can work globally so that all of our employees and all our plants know where to take their byproducts and their scraps. Quality is really kind of playing a big role in this indirectly. When you have product that is returned for bad quality and is scrapped, we're just making more waste. Every issue that we've solved is one less water heater or one less part or one less something going to waste. It is such an honor to be involved in sustainability and it's really become part of the fabric of brain.